Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video of Hot Rocket Tour Reviews. And this time, we're got, we have Nara Simha, the God of Destruction, also known as Psychor. If you guys are not familiar with who Psychor is, he is from Dragon Ball AF. Created basically, he is a character created by Toyotaro. Uh, so. This guy is made by Bistidis. Here we have the logo. Take a quick look at the box. Here we have some uh, description about the the character that we have here. So as always, very important, my pen holder. And here we have the emotion memory bookmarkers. So let's take a look into the figure. All right, so let's take this guy out of the box. So first, let's get the bookmarkers out. So, oh, here's a little baggie with uh, three face plates, and we have the usual four. It's actually really cool. And then let's release the pen holder. I'm in the need of a pen holder, and two head sculpts that's actually really cool and last but not least let's release this guy all right that's pretty cool so we have the body right there we have the hands and an energy effect that's actually pretty cool i think we have a really good uh spread of uh, accessories so next up uh Let's move on to our articulations. All right, so here we have the figure. So I put in the head on wasn't really a problem. It was actually really good, uh, really easy. Um, I must say that uh, the figure feels pretty good. Uh, one of the maybe could be a problem in the future is that this part falls off pretty easy. But other than that, uh, I didn't see any issues. So let's take a look into the articulation. So he looks down, he looks down really good. He looks up, also really good. There's just a small gap right there. Side to side, it's actually pretty good. So that's actually nice. From the shoulder, kind of limited, that's just as far as it goes, but it's not so bad. Also, butterfly. And there you go. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Here, this is a three, well, two piece right here combo. This kind of helps you to hide some of the gaps not the best but it, it helps from well from the torso he looked <coughs> excuse me uh he could go as, as, uh this far he could look up obviously here he's been uh, helped by the waist area side to side kind of limited a full split he kicks forward kicks backward but it does open because of uh, his butt cheeks he's got the swivel the tight swivel both sides the knee pretty good and the toe hinge we have the ankle and it's kind of limited up and down so yeah he looks pretty good I like him and he also feels really good it... I never thought we would have a figure of this guy but I'm glad we do now and I'm pretty sure those who know 
who he is, are very happy to own this guy because he is really badass. So up next, we're gonna take a look uh, to the accessories. All right. All right. So for accessories, we have the extra head. This is basically the Super Saiyan head. It's actually really good. It also has uh, some uh, paint job here. It has some uh, shading on the bottom, so it's actually really cool. Here you guys can see. Well, if, before I put it on, look at the Super Saiyan head. This is just a, a serious straight looking face, and we have this one with the evil smirk. So let's put this one on. So they implemented this new thing where you can see it, but this area right here prevents the, the head to uh, fall off, which is nice. Because if you guys remember on the first batch of the Super Saiyan 3 figures that the uh, Kong uh, Studios released, they had a lot of problems where uh, they have face plates will fall off so it seems like they learned from their mistakes which is really cool and also that means that they listen to the customer so yeah so here it is it looks really cool so we have two faces for the head and then for the base we have this one which is very angry little low there you guys can see it better right there that's very nice well detail paint job is really nice here we have this. another one and a serious one which is really cool in case you guys didn't get to see this one up close here you guys can have it also like I said this uh, base head also has some uh, slight paint job pretty good so that is very nice and for the head I mean for the heads uh, that's it for the head for the hands we have this extended hands pretty cool soft plastic the black paint is pretty uh, clean that's really nice we have this hands open with the pack that's for the energy effect again the black paint is really clean the, we have this one which is for the instant transmission also very clean and the martial art exposed hands again also very clean and last but not least we have the energy effects looks really cool it has this little uh, details here as like if there's like lining around there which is really cool and we have all this also really cool they have the same thing like they kind of feel like thorns but they're really neat I like them I also like the fact that they're from the bottom the same color as this is like purple and then it turns red at the end so that is really nice and we have this extra faceplate. This is for the new batch of the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Goku that they just released. So if you have it, you're lucky. If you don't, you're not. So that's it for accessories. I think that was actually really good. Uh, next up, I'm gonna take pictures. So before we go on to that, if you guys have any questions about the figure, please let me know on the comment section down below. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed, do me a huge favor. That is free. And also, if you guys like the video, can you drop a like? And if you guys didn't, you can dislike the video. All right, we'll see you on to the next video.